Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. This must be Jethro David's house. Yes, it is. This is Jethro's resident. Oh, nice. I got the address from his company. Oh. Good. Well, I am Dr. Cassie. Okay. You must be his sister because I can spot the resemblance. No, darling. I I am not his sister. I am his wife. My name is Amanda Davids. So how can I help you? His wife? Mm -hmm. You didn't know he was married? Actually, we got married nine months ago. After the wedding, he disappeared. No calls, no messages, nothing from him. I, I had to go to his company to get this house address. Um, oh, 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 hold on a minute. If I heard you correctly, you are Jethro's wife? Yes. You got married to him eight months ago? Exactly. And you got the address from his company? Yes. Are you joking right now? Hey. I told us not to go to call. What's your address? Huh? <gasps> Jesus Christ. Cassie. What do you mean that? What do you mean? What the hell is she doing here? No, Jethro, make it make sense. Make it make sense to me that while I was here worried sick about my husband, not knowing where you were, not knowing if you were alive or dead, crying my heart out, thinking to that you were somewhere getting married to this woman. No, make it make sense to me that whatever she came here to tell me is a lie and not the truth. I can explain. Explain what? Explain why you lied to me. I asked you. My sister asked you. You said you were single. You got married to me and left me behind for good freaking eight months. Calm down. All right? Calm down. I know your emotions are high right now. Really? You destroyed my life? Now you're telling me my emotions are high? Are you out of your mind? Oh, God. I... Oh, please shut up! Shut it! You what? No, you what? And you, young lady, I don't know what your plans are. I don't know what you guys discussed, but if you think for one minute that you're moving in into this house with me, then think again. Because this is my house, my husband's house, and I will not have you, the concubine or the mistress, moving here with me. There is no room for you here. We cannot coexist. Now get out. Point of correction. I am the wife. You are his mistress. So get your feet and get out of my husband's house. Oh, that was a bigger name. You know what you are, darling? You are a side piece. Now take your wicked self out of my house. Oh, you I are will, will you tell your slut to get out of Shut the house? Shut up! Before I lose your job! Are you insane? Can you two just calm down so we'll find a way to solve this problem? Solve my problem! Shut up! You two want to be What was my offense? Was I not good enough? No, was I not... Am I not a good wife to you? I, I really need you to answer these questions because I am clueless as to why you would do this to me. So I need you to tell me what was my offense. What did I not do right? 
Oh, really? Because if you, if you tell me, I'm, I, 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 I might try to understand. I'm sorry, babe. I'm truly sorry. You see, the thing is, I... I was lonely at the moment, and I... I needed company, and that... That's it. She needed company. Yeah. Jetro, you are a married man and you needed company and you didn't think it right to bring your wife over to wherever you are to keep you company. Well, make it make sense because I do not understand how you would be lonely like you said and then you want company you didn't even talk to me you didn't even ask me to come let it now be that i said no but what you thought right to do was to marry someone else somewhere just because you were lonely well that's bullshit that is complete bullshit because i know that you are lying you were not lonely. You did not need company, but rather you are selfish, you are deceptive, you are evil, and that is why you could do this to me, and now you're telling me this lies. Everything you just said now is not the truth. This is a lie. How can you say a thing like that? You don't know me more than I know oh, myself. Please. Thank God heaven is aware that I do not know who you are. I don't know you. Jethro, I don't no, you, because I don't know who is sitting here before me telling me this, this, this nonsense. This is not the man I married. This is not the man I said yes to. This is not the man I promised to spend the rest of my life with. This is not the man I promised to spend the rest of my life with. This is not my husband. I don't even know who you are. I know nothing about you. I only regret one thing in my life. As of this moment, I have only one regret in my life. And that is ever meeting you, Jethro. I regret that we crossed paths. I regret that I met you. I regret that I said yes. I regret that I married you. I regret that I am your wife. Don't say that, darling. Please. Don't let your anger say things that we will regret all our lives. Don't touch me. Don't come any closer than you already are. As a matter of fact, Jethro, just get out. I said, get out, please. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Why are you doing this to yourself? You should have called me before coming. You came into my life. You deceived me. You promised me. You lied to me.
I show up at your doorstep. If you're telling me I'm supposed to call you. Haven't I been calling you? Did you pick my calls? Why didn't you tell me you were married? Why did you lie to me? Why did you marry me knowing full of that you were married? You messed my life, Jethro. You took advantage of the fact that I fell in love with you first. I love you right back. Listen, I married you because I love you differently. Don't you get it? How many women do you want to meet? How many? Don't make this more difficult than it is right now. You see this mistake? You just made it will never end well. Mark my words. My khaki. Did you have my khaki, please? Well, no one's getting any car keys today. All right? You both need to learn how to coexist amongst each other. Jethro, you have no right to tell me who to coexist with. Yes. Because when you were going to marry this thing, you will not call me thing. You did not take permission from me. You didn't tell me about it. So you have no damn right to tell me who to coexist with. You think you can just go out and cheat and expect me to be okay with it? Well, I am not. I am hot! You hurt my feelings so deep that I am on fire right now. You have lit fire on my head and get ready. Well, listen, Jethro, I am going to lit your ass and I'll make this house uncomfortable for you. Idiot. Let me have my car keys. I'm downstairs. You see what you have caused? You lied to me, Jethro. Now your secret is in the open. You will learn to live with the consequences of your actions. Don't worry. This is just the beginning. Is this drama going to stop already or you must lose your life before you have sex? What is wrong with you? Bro, I'm tired. I'm frustrated. I mean, I can't have a moment of peace in my own house. You see the way these women are trying to tear themselves up on my account? <laughs> ah, you brought this upon yourself, bro. I mean, you brought this upon yourself. One woman is difficult enough. Then two? Are you kidding me? Two? I know a woman is very difficult to handle. But then, it's a job at a time. Alright? You know I'm not always around. I'm always traveling from one place to another. <sighs> Bro. Exactly. I'm a man. I'm a man. I, I've got needs. Alright? I've got needs. Exactly why you're meant to just date this women and move on. Must you marry everyone you date? But you're making life complicated for yourself. You mustn't marry them. You just date them 
and leave them. The worst part of it right now is that I've lost my job. I mean, I feel so bad right now because it's like dedicating all your life to a job has got more disadvantage than advantage. Ah, <sighs> Jethro, are you? It's a pity you lost your job, but then, bro, I must tell you this as a friend. Some women are as deadly as vipers. You know, we sacrifice everything for them and we gain nothing in return. Sure. I mean, you sacrifice your, your, your private life, your, 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 your friends, your family, your, your job, you know, your social life, all for nothing. They will still do what they know how to do best. Which is abandon us. Bro, you just have to relax, take it easy, and then just find something to do. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try, bro. And this is bad, bro. Very bad. Very bad. Um, madam, you need to stop talking. Your blood pressure is very high. Are you mad? Like... No, are you okay? What, meaning what? No, are you indirectly telling me I talk too much? Do you know me before? Like, your They sent you. It is your own blood pressure that is high. Come, 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 come. Are you in any way related to this witch? But what are you doing me? now? You are talking too much. They said you are talking too much. Are you okay? Why you are still talking? They call this woman, are you mad? She's right. No, why did you, you touch too me? too much. Parrot. No, why did you touch me hmm. now? Are you mad? You say you're embarrassing yourself, friends of everybody. Hmm. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Ah, this woman, this woman. Your shame, your ah, shame. Ah, no, your own shame need to cover you. You're mad. Don't but you've not seen anything. These people will kill you. You've not seen that. People will kill you. No people will go kill you. Idiot. Mm. You've not seen anything. Mm. Oh, yeah, you? you see, I'll be killing you. I will kill you before you think of killing me. Yes, Jethro is yes. mine. Nobody is taking him away from me. Jethro is mine. And to let me school you in case you don't know. Before you ever met Jethro, or know, know there is somebody called Jethro in this world, he has been mine. And you, you, you're too small. You can't take him from me. He's mm -hmm. mine, and he can never be yours. Why am I even wasting my strength from somebody who is not necessary? Anyways, I, can you see anybody here? Because I think I'm talking to a spirit. You're mad. <laughs> you are Parrot. mad. Parrot, too. Anyways, thank God I'm pregnant, though. I don't have time for negative energy. I'm so sorry. No, no, please, pregnant. Oh! Mm. Excuse mm. you? Mm. What do you mean none of us is pregnant? I'm a doctor. When I say I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant. Do you know how long I practiced? Do you know how many years it took me to become a doctor? Mm. I am a licensed doctor. Mm -hmm. I've done masters, I've done everything. Mm. I have saved lives. You, what degree do you have? Mm. Huh? Hey. You should be a quack doctor. Please go and get me the real result and stop uh, giving me fake things. Yeah. No. My darling, don't stress it. You want to respond to this person? No, no, no. You want to respond to somebody who was once mad. These are symptoms of madness. You cannot cure a madman completely. These are symptoms of madness. She used to be mad from too much abortion as a quack doctor. Abortion quack doctor. Uh, quack abortion I, doctor. I, don't I studied. Know. I have my study. I have I have your father's backyard. Your father's backyard, after dealing with people's children, after aborting and destroying people's womb, God finally took your own out here. Yeah, that me, I'm pregnant. Me? Anyway, I don't blame you. You see, this is safe finish. If I had not come to that your stupid house, I would not be receiving this insult. I don't blame you at all. Hey! Me! God has a way of making our enemies confess. Finally, you're saying the truth. If you did not come to snatch my husband, how would I have met a madman like you? Would we be having this conversation? No, we wouldn't. 
You're the one that brought this upon yourself. Amanda. You have not seen anything yet. My darling, please. Uh, I would like to have a conversation with you and how to go about IDH. You know? I would like to have one. Remove your fire rod first now. The fire rod is blocking the way. Remove it, the tree. Remove it first. Auntie, Auntie. cook your ovaries huh. first. Eh, cook your ovaries huh. first. Eh, eh, say ovaries. Remove your fiber you see how it goes. Go and take care of your own. Go and take care of your own. Go and take care of your own. Can you think I have to cover it? Remove it. Let us see the fiber. You want to fight? Let us see the fiber. Somebody wants to fight. Who is this guy? 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 If I blow you, if I blow you, your mother. Your mother. You cannot speak language. You know what? Why not? 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 Eh, hey, Zuzu, so, so, where you two, Zuzu? So, so. Doctor, doctor, we will call you. Let's go. Let's take advice, eh? Advice on My darling, please, come on. It's good you're fixing the bird. When you're done, please excuse us. What have you been smoking? No, what have you been on? Are you high? Are you alright? <laughs> what do you mean by us? No, who is the us? Excuse us, as, as who? Why don't you understand? I want to spend the night with my husband. Don't that fire that amount you used in saying it. You see that amount you just opened and jack, 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 don't that strike you there, you must be mad. You must be stupid. Do I look like your mate? Who is talking about mate here? This is my matrimonial bed. And I'm going to spend the night with my husband. So when you're done, leave. Oh, really? Your matrimonial room? Well, let me school you, young lady. Before you came into this house, this was my matrimonial room. And it's still my matrimonial room. Do you understand? The fact that I allow you palambulate in this house, eat whatever you like, wake up in this house does not give you the right to come in here and talk rubbish to me. Are you mad? Are you insane? Don't you know you're supposed to be thanking me for the hair you breathe? Don't you know you're supposed to be thanking me for moving around freely in this house? I can see you're beginning to cross your boundary. I can see you're beginning to cross your, cr cross your lane, but I'll put you in your place. You know what? I am not here to exchange words with you. Thank you, stars. I'm in a good mood today. If you push me into my bad mood, you will not like what will come out of it. Oh, really? Yes. Please, I want to see your bad mood. My darling, please, I would like to see you in your worst state. No, you see that mood you're talking about, I would like to see it. So tell me, what do I do? Should I, what should I do to push you? Mad. Should I slap you? Wa no, mad. you're the one who is mad. You are mad. Only Allah. Jethro and I will get into this bed and we will sleep on this bed. As a matter of fact, we will make love on this bed. Jethro and you will sleep on this bed. This bed, my darling, the only place you're sleeping on tonight, if you're not careful, is in the jail. You're sleeping on a bed in one of the cells in police station. Try me. Let me see you on top of this bed. Idiot. Get out of What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Get out of the bed. Keep the bed. Hey, hey! What's the meaning of this nonsense? Hey! Hey! You need to stop this, this nonsense right now! What's this? What's going on? Animal! What's the meaning of this nonsense? Talk to this thing I don't know where you picked her up from. Mm. Tell her to respect herself. Mm. Walking in here to tell me to walk out of my matrimonial bed that she wants to spend the night with her husband. And who the hell is she mm. to tell me that? Oh, please. Huh? He is my husband. Hmm? So shut your freaking mouth. Oh, you idiot. Yesterday you slept with him. Tonight it's my talk. Mm. So take your chippers and get out. Oh, why, 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 why in God's name are you women doing this to me? Can't I have peace in my own house? No! You can't have peace. You think if you don't give me peace, you have peace. Uncle, there is no peace for the weekend. There is no peace for you in this house. Try me. Amanda, get through. Get into the bed. We are enjoying ourselves tonight on this bed. Thank you for making the bed for us. Baby, please come. Come, let's enjoy ourselves. Baby, please come. Come to this bed. 
Leave this place. Go to that. Leave this place. Go to that. Go to that. Go to that. You know what you two think we can do to solve this problem now? I am spending the night with you. So am I. So you two ladies are suggesting we have a threesome, right? I don't have a problem with that, but I am not going to leave this room tonight. Of course you will not have a problem with threesome, because you're used to it. Apuna apuna, a lot. Mm. Well, I'm not doing threesome with anybody. Send this thing out of my matrimonial No, you bed. will leave this place. Send her out of my matrimonial You will get don't out. Don't try you. You're in on Naja. Uh, in on Naja. What will you do? Let you know what you do. Shut your freaking mouth. You shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Animal. 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 Try me. Oh, my God. My J. You don't let this face deceive you. I am a J. 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 I Beautiful residence. Wow, beautiful lady. Oh my god, your hair is so. Excuse you. No. Who are you? Oh, before that, is this Jetro's residence? I just asked you a question. Who the heck are you? Anyway, tell Jetro I'm here. Who the fuck are you? Tell Jetro Caro is here. And who the hell is Caro? Well, if you must know, I am his wife. Mm -hmm. His what? Why? This nonsense going on. Hey, hey, Auntie, hey, hey. Enter your car. Get out of this girlfriend. Are you mad? I said, get in. Get in the box. And drive out of this place. Are you mad? How dare you send me away from my husband's house? This is my husband's house. Hey, hey, man. Man. Uh, Which husband? Uh, you smoke it, bro. Uh, eh? uh, First, you drove into this compound without permission. Secondly, you had the guts to want to touch my hair. Are you stupid? In a parlor. Eh? You don't get respect. You want to move into where? My husband's house. Uh, Which husband? Which stupid husband are you talking about? Because I allow you to sit in my husband's house and smoke nonsense and you think this place belongs to you. Now, you know what, young lady? You get into that box. Yours is easier. Just get out. Mother, bless you. And you, you 
Go in there and pack any rubbish that belongs to you because I think I'm becoming too lenient for the you two of you. I said, get out! Hold on! I will change that for you. I will change that for you. Are you not you? Are you not you? Are you not you? Foolish I am now. Fly me. Fly me. I will tell you what to do. Before I become a banker, eh? I was once on the street. I will take an advice. Where are they bringing me from? Please. I will take. Others not suck your way. 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 Guy, come up from my house. Excuse me. Please. Now, I want to understand something here because I'm confused. You are his wife. Yes, his legal wife. The first. The second. Who made you second? Oh, please, shut up. Who made you second? And that means I'm the third wife? Before Uncle. Oh, my darling. You can't last. that way. So respect yourself and get out. Because so advice will not contain you. Oh, 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 sweetheart. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't do that <gasps> here. You know what? Just get into your car. Cry while you're driving home, okay? Oh, yeah, just go. Just, 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 Leave me alone! Uh, did you, did you, you know what? Get your stupid ass off me! Oh, okay, you know what? For the first time, you don't need to beg me. Oh, yeah. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! I was trying to digest the idea of two women. Now three? Come on, bro. This is crazy now. Listen, I need your help. I desperately need your help right now. How can I help you? I mean, I don't even have a wife. I'm yet to get married. How can I help you with three women? Three wives? If anything goes wrong, bro, I'm going to die. I will die. I need your help. Jethro, how did you get yourself involved in this mess? How? It's a long story.
Please, sir. Be Sorry, good. I had to pull you out this time. If there is a situation in our site in Kogi State, you will have to go there tomorrow morning. Ah. Um, sir, I, I just got married today. Will the whole world go to sleep because you got married today? Or you are no longer interested in this job? No, sir. I didn't say that. It's all right. I would move immediately. Thank you very much, sir. Dear true, we just went. Today was our wedding day. I'm truly sorry. I still don't understand what you're trying to say. We just got married today. It's our wedding night. And you're telling me you're traveling tomorrow. Chetro, it's not making sense. I mean, I don't understand. Is this some kind of joke or something? It's not a joke, darling. I'm an engineer. And my job comes first. Oh, please, damn your job. Damn you. Damn everybody. What are you trying to say? Okay, what am I supposed to do? No. Make it make sense. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just sit down and do what? We've, we've not even had time to consummate our marriage. And you're telling me you're traveling. It's not making sense. Don't you see it? Amanda. You are an engineer's wife. Being an engineer's wife means you should understand the job. All right? I told you about this from the onset. And you, you accepted it. So you should learn to live with it. And that is how you're supposed to say it to me? I mean, where is the soft tone you're supposed to address me with? I'm not here to pamper you, Amanda. You are my wife. I love you so much, yes. But I have to do this. I wish there was a better way. But there is none. Not like I didn't know this was how it's going to be. I knew from the onset that you're a very busy man. Yeah. So it's okay. But before you travel to me, at least let us consummate our marriage. Don't you think so? To my husband. Of 
We've got to pack. It's a long journey tomorrow. Okay. You're traveling tomorrow. Yeah. And this is, this is what I know you want my husband and I shouldn't be begging for him. Hey, hey, hey. Honey, come on, it's just 5.30. This is too early, don't you think so? Oh, oh. hey. Ah. Days like this will come. They will come. You just have to learn how to live with it and develop a thick skin for it. Babes, we just got married. Mm. Our wedding was yesterday. I know. My profession will not go to sleep because we just got married. Neither will engineers go to sleep because they are married. I just got transferred. Okay? I need to go there, settle in, and then send for you. And for how long am I supposed to follow you around everywhere you go to? For as long as you are willing. But if you ever get tired of that, you just let me know and I will then get you somewhere comfortable to stay. But come on, I thought we had an agreement for better and for worse. Baby, come on. How am I supposed to stay without you? Oh, darling. Mm. Don't worry, you will learn. What do you mean I'm going to learn? How am I supposed to learn? I mean, you will learn hardly. <laughs> Come on, I don't want to believe it. Okay, so you're using the you're going to learn the hard way of me. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> I just. So, bro, you just got married yesterday. How is it with your wife? My brother, she's not taking it so well, you know? But um, I have a job I must answer to anytime we call. Yeah, you know, I can imagine how, I can imagine how, um, what she's, I mean, what she's passing through right now. You know, marrying an engineer seems to, seems to make it very, very unstable life for, for, yeah. for her, you understand? I told her we, we had this discussion earlier before we got married. But then she was too she was so carried away with the love she has for me. Or she has for me right now. You know? Right now she's living with her choices, so what to do? Of course she 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 is. She is. But she she has to understand that life is very, very hard. Life itself is very, very hard. And I am I am I am very, very I am very, very concerned about my mental health. Stella, can you imagine? Can you can you just imagine? I, I, I didn't even spend 24 hours with this guy. One full day, I didn't get to spend it with my husband. Huh? He told you duty calls, right? Of course, what else? What I told you. I told you when you guys were dating that you have to prepare yourself for this. Stella, I know you did. But I mean priority calls. You do, you, 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 he, he's supposed to have priorities. His job is equally a priority. Come on, my friend. When you guys were dating, I told you he's an engineer and there's a tendency that he must not always be there for you. Hmm. You know, you're aware. But you are so excited about getting married to an engineer uh, that is so handsome that you forget the little things that matter. 
Come on. You know that this guy works in a construction company. His company needs him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you equally need him. But his company needs him more. Oh, thank God you know I need him. That's the more reason you have to un be understanding. Okay? Stop all this whining. Let's face reality. Listen, Stella. Before I got married to him, I had an idea of what his life is like. And I had an idea of what life with him, married to him, would be like. Do you understand? But my problem is, on our wedding night, babes, like after the wedding, when people are expecting you people to do the do, something more important than doing the do came up. I mean, it's not funny because we didn't even get to consummate our marriage. All of a sudden, something came up. Night that we were supposed to be performing the... Ah, come on. Babes are beg, are beg. It's, 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 it's unacceptable. It is. I understand. But it is what it is. And you have to learn how to put up with it. Hmm. Huh? I, 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 after all, you have yourself a hardworking and a handsome man. Hard luck, my friend. Hmm. Uh, uh, excuse you, hard what? Hard luck. To who? To me. Uh -uh. My name does not go together with hard luck. Rather... Good luck. Mm, please correct yourself. Okay. Correction. Accepted. Good luck, my friend. Thanks At sir. least you got yourself a handsome and a hardworking man for uh, that matter. Well, on that aspect, you are correct. I got myself a very handsome man and a very hardworking man. That is why he could afford a stone like this. I see. A stone like this. So you have I to cheer up and stop, and stop, and stop whining now. Eh? My sister, I'm not whining anymore, but really, we have to do something about this this whole work, 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 work thing. I agree. Drink up. Stop whining. On top of my own wine. I... Dentro! Dentro! Oh my god, I love the break! Dentro! Dentro! I love the break! Dentro! Dentro, stop break! Break! Stop! Dentro, stop! Ah! you are safe. Is this a premonition? 
God, please, please let nothing happen to my husband. I am too young to be a widow. I am barely a day old in this marriage. I can't, I, I can't lose my husband. Please, keep him safe. My son, my son, don't go like that. Please don't go, my son. Ah! Save Maxwell! Save him. Save him, Maya. Please save him. Save Maxwell. Please. Doctor! Doctor! Maxwell, don't go. Please. Please, Maxwell. Maxwell, don't go like that. Please don't go. Ah. Maxwell! Save Maxwell. Save Maxwell now. Save him! Save Maxwell! Ah! Save him! Save him! Ah! Save Maxwell! Ah! Save him! Save him, please! Save! Save him! Save him! Save! Get to answer your call now. Yeah, answer your calls. This is too early now. It's too early for me to be feeling this way. But you now will be bothered. What kind of nonsense is this? Somebody's wife is calling her husband and he's not picking up. Is this right? Take care of Maxwell. Maxwell is being attended to. I need to treat you too. Go, go. Make sure he's fine first. I, I, I don't want anything to happen to Maxwell, please. Please. Please come with me. Stand up. No, no, no. Young man, you're not doing good. And you need to be attended to right now. Where is Maxwell? Is he fine? I will see Maxwell in a bit and come back and treat your wounds. Let's get on. No. Maxwell. Max, you'll be fine, alright? Just take care of my mother. Take care of my mother. Please. Max, stop saying this thing you're saying. Stop, stop it. You, 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 you're scaring me. I'm, I'm not going to take care of your mother because you'll be here to take care of your mother. You, you, you do that better than me now. No, don't, don't tell me that. What do you mean by take care of your mother? Stop saying that kind of thing. Just relax, you'll be fine. The doctors are doing their job, 
but I am sure you'll be very, 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 very proud. Huh? I can't believe really it was. I can't wait to stop. Oh, no. Maxwell, please. Look here, man. Maxwell, try and bear the pain. It's just for a while, okay? We're in a very good hospital. They'll take good care of us. We'll be fine. Don't, don't worry, you'll be fine. You don't need to ask me to take care of your mother. You don't need to when you dare to take care of your mother. But don't tell me that. Alright? You'll be fine. Maxwell. Oh my god. Maxwell. Maxwell. Ma Maxwell. Maxwell, please don't do it. Doctor! Maxwell, please don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, please. Doctor! Maxwell! Maxwell! Maxwell, wake up. Maxwell, wake up. Wake up, you're going to take care of your mother. Maxwell, wake up! Doctor! Maxwell! Maxwell! Doctor! Maxwell, don't do this. Don't do this to me, Maxwell. Maxwell, please, please, don't do this. Doctor! Doctor! What's going on? Doctor! Nurse! What's... Maxwell! Doctor! It's ringing, but it's not picking up. Maybe his phone is down. Or maybe he's not even hearing the phone ring. Give this man a slack. He's on transit. He didn't hear the phone ring. Obviously. <sighs> Babes, you know me. You know my spirit of discernment is high. Yeah. When I feel something, I am always right. Right about now, I am telling you something is definitely wrong. All is not well. Something is wrong with my husband. There is nothing wrong with your husband, okay? You're just being plain negative. I am not being negative. I'm just telling you how it is. I am telling you how I feel. Can you hear yourself talk? The man is obviously exhausted from his trip. Hence the reason he's not hearing his phone ring. Look at the brighter side. Oh, really? He's obviously sleeping. Okay, hold on. Take a look at this. Did you see how many times I called him? Is he dead? Like no matter how how deep asleep you are, you should hear your phone ring for this number of times that I've called him. Come on now, you the one talking. Okay, it's all right. Eh? His phone is obviously on silent. You self, when they sleep, when they enter deep sleep, I know how you put your phone on silent. It's not this deep. But like you said, I'm going to wait. After some time, I'll call again. Just have faith, okay? Mm -hmm. Have faith and stop being negative. That's all. Huh. Maxwell. Maxwell. Maxwell.
What is it? His number is switched off. I mean, Stella, he switched off his phone. He cannot switch off his phone. His battery is probably dead. That is the point. No, that exactly is the point. Because his battery can never die. No, his battery can never die. It can never run low. <laughs> Stella, I know the man I married. I know. I know my husband, he can never allow his battery to die. This is why I am telling you there is something wrong. Something is definitely wrong. Stop thinking negatively. What? There is nothing wrong with him. Okay? You're just getting yourself overly worked up. Calm down. And that's the problem. No, Stella, that is the problem because I just got married. So why am I already worried about my husband? Am I supposed to be going through this now? Calm down. This is not fair now. Calm down. No, it's not about calming down, no. It's not about calming down. I am telling you that something is wrong with my husband. You're telling me calm down. There is nothing wrong right with again. him. Okay, it's all right. Let me try. Maybe I didn't do it well. Maybe I got, I, I got it all wrong. Same thing? <laughs> calm down. Calm down. Okay? You worry too much. What do you mean I worry too much? But that's the point. I am worried. Ha, oh, God. Come, come, come. See, okay, fine. Can you please allow him to get to his destination first? Then we can now make proper investigation. For how many hours? No, how long is the journey that I have to wait one week to get in touch with my husband? Okay, just calm down. We'll keep trying. Okay? Calm down now. Thank you. Thank God. Where am I? You were in the hospital. Did you forget? Thank God for that doctor who gave you blood. I'm sure you feel a lot better now. Blood? Yes. We couldn't find your blood type, so she donated her blood to you. Who's this doctor? She's Dr. Cassie. She donated her blood to you and made sure that you are alive. I'm happy you came around. You have been in a coma. Just can I get to see this doctor and take care of the I will. I will check if she's unseated. Tell her you're awake. Thank you. Thank God you're awake. How do you feel? I'm fine, thank you. And who are you? I'm Dr. Cassie. Oh. You are the doctor who donated blood to me. Technically, yes. Oh, there's nothing technical about that. Because if you're the doctor who donated blood to me, that simply means you are the one who saved my life. But bigger than that, I just cannot believe that the blood of a beautiful woman like you runs in my veins right now. Are you kidding me? You're just gaining consciousness and you want to flirt? Well, you can call it whatever, but being sick will not stop me from noticing your beauty. Thanks for the compliment. Most importantly, I'm up here awake, so how do you feel? 
Obviously, I feel good with your blood running in my veins. But don't you feel good in your own skin? You sure have a way with words. But this is a hospital. Flattery will not take you anywhere. It might not take me anywhere, but it will surely gain me a smile. I wouldn't it? Uh, I just saw you smile. <laughs> okay, it's obvious you're better now. I'll just check your vitals and then we'll proceed from there. Oh, no, Doctor. I... I don't feel good. I don't feel better. You don't feel better? What's the problem? The problem is if I accept to be fine, you will obviously discharge me. And when you discharge me, I will not get to see your beautiful face again. Let me just check your vitals. Honestly, what happened to his friend really affected him. So, what do we do? He needs to come for the therapy. That is the only solution. You know, when it comes to therapy, not everyone wants to go into it. I understand. But you need to talk to him. It is for his own good. And he has to do that fast. Yes, his mental health will be affected. Bad. What are you doing? Sure. For what? I'm not mad. Look, Jethro. Therapy is not for mad people. It's a mental state. We need to understand why you feel what you feel and why what is happening to you is happening to you. We really need to act fast, else your health will degenerate to us. I don't want to do this. You have to do it, please. It's for your own good and for the good of other people in your life. And what do you mean by other people in my life? Look, let's not go into that detail yet, all right? This therapy is just a few sections. You will decide whether to go further or not. I'll do it on only one condition. By chance? You have to come with me. Look, this is personal. It's a private thing. It's either you come with me or I'm not going. Okay. That is fine by you. Let's go. I bought another phone. The company relocated me and everything seemed all right. And I re-established contact with my wife, Amanda. But, for some reason, I wasn't feeling that connection anymore. The only thing that flooded my head was Cassie. It got to a point that when Amanda calls, I don't even pick or find a reason not to talk to her because I wanted to give Cassie all my attention. It wasn't long before Cassie demanded security. She wanted to know where this relationship was going to, so I had to make a move. This is so wrong. And then again, I know, I know, I know that our jobs don't give us time for family. But what you did is so wrong, bro. It's wrong. Yeah, I know. I'm glad you also know that there are women everywhere. Too many women everywhere. Exactly my point. Exactly why you should position yourself to just play and disengage. You don't give them the impression that it will last a lifetime. Don't go about destroying people's lives. What is wrong with you? Steve, come on, please, please don't make me feel worse than I feel right now. Please, don't do that to me. Don't. You should feel worse. Jethro, you should feel guilty. I want you to feel the pain of what you've done. All wrong now. 
Steve, you're supposed to be looking for a way to get me out of this mess. I'm not trying to make me feel guilty for it. Come on. What are friends for? Okay, now you tell me. What about Carol? You also got lonely? Steve, you're supposed to be looking for a way to get me out of this mess and not make me feel guilty for it. Come on. Guilty is what I want you to feel, bro. You're guilty. You're guilty, bro. Uh -uh. All wrong now, bro. All wrong. All I know is I am not leaving this house for either of you. Because this is my husband's house. I am his only legitimate wife and I will not be known bad. Not in this life, not in another life. So both of you, get ready to get yourself out of my husband's house. Which legitimate wife? I want to understand. So what am I? Huh? You're a Do you have sense? Don't, don't call me concubine again. Don't try it. Babe, I'm not that you stupid. Cheap. What is wrong with you? Why don't you just accept your position? No, really, does your people know about Jethro? No, do they know anybody called Jethro? My darling, if anything happens to you here, you're a goner. So you don't see anything wrong what he has done? You're supporting evil? Really? I don't see anything wrong in what he has done because there is nothing wrong with what he has done. And I do not support evil, my darling. I don't. But all I know is I am not leaving this relationship because I have invested so much. I have invested so much. I have made a lot of sacrifice for this relationship for me to just walk out of my marriage. No, if I walk out now, wait till I gain. No, really, what do I gain? If you know you didn't gain anything, pack your things and get out. Because I invested a lot into that man's life. I gave my blood to save him. As vampire. Where's the patient? He's in the ICU now. Some prescriptions, all right. Make sure you monitor him every one hour and get me the feedback. This is my patient, I'll handle him. Let's go quickly, okay. get the prescriptions. Titi, you know I am not on call today. Oh my goodness. Is Ronnie temperature? Yes. Okay, I'll be there in the next 30 minutes. But before then, please take his vitals. Give him paracetamol injection 5 milligram. And ciprofloxacin as in IV infusion. That will resustain him. Please keep me posted before I get there. Okay? Okay. All right. So tell me, what's the update? Oh, it's a blood type B negative, and we do not have his blood type in our blood bank. Have you tried other blood banks that we know? Yes, I have made all the calls, but they do not have it in their blood bank. And this condition is very critical. What do we do? We need to act fast. Okay. I'll go to the lab. I'm a universal donor. I'll see what I can do. Are you going to donate your blood for a stranger? Saving lives is my priority. I'm a doctor. I have to save his life. Okay, Doc. Let me tell them you're coming. Uh, 
I don't know who you are, but I'm drawn to you. Get well soon and leave the hospital. This is. You're welcome. How was your day? Fine. But I'm exhausted. Why are you exhausted? Today was quite hectic. I. I went to take care of a patient who had an accident. He lost lots of blood. I had to donate mine to him. You donated your blood to him? Why would you do that? Do you know him? I don't know him from anywhere, but something pushed me to, to do it. I had to save his life. Moreover, he lost his friend in the accident. His name is Jethro. That's all I know about him. Nothing more. Don't you think he went to the extreme, donating blood for a total stranger? Sis, you taught me that saving lives is more important than anything. I had to do it. I'm a doctor. Saving lives is my priority. Oh yeah, you're right. Um, is it fine now? He's recuperating. Okay, um. Just go ahead and change when we we'll get to you. I was going to do that. I'm really, really exhausted. <sighs> No, she went out yesterday to get the doctor who donated blood to me, but you never got back to me. What happened? I am very sorry. By the time I got to her office, a shift had already ended. Another doctor had replaced her, but I'm waiting for her to come this morning so I can tell her to come see you. Please do, so I can at least say thanks. Um, so, how are you feeling? I feel better today. Um, I'm just having a little challenge. I would like to make a call. Can I get my phone? Your phone? Yes, my phone. You didn't come here with a phone. You didn't come here with anything. You came with just your friend. Ah. I'm sure they must have left my phone at the accident scene. So how do I make a call, please? I can arrange for you to use a phone. Or better still, you can use mine. All right, fine. Uh, I'll be okay. I'm sorry, it's locked. Oh, um. Thank you. You can't remember the number. I think I tend to miss a number or two. Who are you trying to call? Um, don't worry, it wasn't necessary. Okay, if you say so. Let me just check if she's around. All right. Enjoy yourself. Thank you.
He said he's an engineer. Be careful. How do you mean be careful? I'm not a little child. I've passed through that bad several. So you have to be careful. He's an engineer. You still haven't explained what you mean. Each big construction comes with its own family. What are you implying? I saw the smile on your face. And I've seen how happy you've been for the few days you met this young man. Funny enough, you cannot go through a day without mentioning his name. I think you are liking him. That is the reason I'm telling you to be careful because they are unstable people. Sis, the fact that grandfather was an engineer and unstable doesn't mean everyone will be the same. It depends on upbringing and where they are from. Have you seen it? You don't even know him, yet you are defending him. Anyways, there is nothing wrong in having an engineer as a husband or a boyfriend. So long you'll be able to do what is needed to be done and endure what is needed to be endured. If you think you can go through it, go ahead. But if you can't, there is no point going through it. my husband's house just like that. You lie. I have come here to stay. I need Jethro to come and tell me what this madness is all about. Because I am pregnant. How? You are what? How? So you knew he was married and you went ahead to get pregnant for him. Oh, really? Are you not stupid? And who exactly are you to judge me? Mm. Oh well, she's nobody. Who's a nobody? You. But as his legitimate wife, his only wife, I don't believe your story. As for her, I understand. Maybe Jethro lied to her, convinced her. You know, she has a fish brain, so it's easy to deceive her. Madame, so if you I make understand. Your point, I understand the part no that try, Amanda. you were brought into this house as a second wife. Uh, oh, uh, as a matter of fact, side chick. Mm, because I'm the only legitimate wife. And as for you, there is no way you will tell me Jethro did not tell you about his two wives. Because there is no man in his right senses who will hide his two wives from you. Why am I calling this girl wife? Who will hide his wife and a side chick from you? So you are lying. I put it to you, my darling. You lie. You knew about us before you took your greedy self into this place because you want to reap from where you did not. Sow. So for your mind now, you'll be wife. Oh please! He deceived you. Don't know. Legitimate. Legitimate. Where? Legitimate. Legitimate. What are you legitimate? Legitimate. Seba po a My darling, you cannot seba po mo. Diala. So she the ma. The both of you think Jethro told me about you. Oh, of course. Sir. And I stupidly brought myself here to come and fool myself with you. Ah, no, no, no. Ori mi okpe ni eh. Ah, ko okpe. Ha ha. E ti en se de. E se de ni. Ori mi okpe. E lo gba e ni sensi. Anyway. Sit down and let me school both of you on what actually happened. Which school did they go? Uh, it depends on where you mean here. The Gateman's house, I mean, right? Anyway. Just sit your asses down 
and let me school you what actually happened. Well, who the school hell are you to tell us to sit our asses? I don't down. understand you. Did I give this as a joke? I want to tell you. Oh, let's say it. Let's say it. Oh, 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 let's say it. You go back to Japan, you go Ben Johnson, come on for here. Oh, what did they do on that too? Oh, Jesus. If you want here, you're here. No, they make me as a sweet process you robot for this place. Jetro, yeah. I blame look you. At the, look, at the, look at the things. Look at the things you got. You, you brought into this house for me to deal with. Yeah. I'm a yes, Are you alright? Huh? Oh. Is everything okay? Oh God. Are you alright? Five years. Five years in a relationship and this is how Kelvin pays me back. Oh. I really love him. What he did to me aches my heart. You know what? It's all right. Okay? It's okay. Wipe your tears. I am here to give you peace forever. I promise you. All right? I won't let anyone hurt you again. It's okay. Thank you. It's a little strange and look at how you make me feel. It's all right. Thanks. It's all right, huh? Mm. Yes, yeah, so, that's why I see they are love at first sight. Hmm? Uh, at least I get to call you to know how you're doing from time to time. Alright? Uh, let me have your number. Alright? So, what do I say, Ruby? Hmm. Carol. 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 Beautiful Carol. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Alright. At least so, now I have your number. I get to call you all the time. Mm. Mm? So uh, I guess I'll see you again. Mm -hmm. I'll walk you down. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, tell me more about yourself. I mean, the good part. Stranger stepped in and made you feel wanted. Oh. Hmm? Huh. He was like a godsend at the time. <laughs> you know what Kelvin did to me now? I thought I wouldn't be able to sleep last night, but <laughs> here I am exercising. Good for you. I have always told you that Kelvin is a big time jack, but you wouldn't listen. I hope you've learned your lessons. <laughs> okay. Big time. But trust me, Kelvin will not go scot-free. I will make sure that he understands the gravity of what he did to me. I will show him why I joined the army. What do you intend to do? To take some of our boys and go and deal with him personally? Or send me and my guys to go and do that? <laughs> Just chill. I haven't decided yet, but trust me, he will not go scot-free. I will deal with that guy. Okay. Let's go. Come on. I'm okay. Come on. You let me let me now. Go down. Go down. Fuck off now. I'm begging you. Come on, shut up. I I I I still talking. No 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 no. I'm sorry. Please, 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 please. Please, please. Please, please. Please, I'm sorry. You're I'm sorry. 
Please, I'm sorry, please. Please, I promise you this will happen again. Please, forgive me, please. Please. You got exactly what you deserve. At least next time you will know that it's not everybody that you can mess with. I understand. Please, just forgive me. I ask you to stop beating me. I said, shut up! Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Are, you, are you mad? No, sir. Who the hell do you think you are? Sorry, sir. I brought him here so he can do it in the right wish. Eh? No, no, no. Shut up, Abby! Bloody nobody. I can't believe I dated this guy. I was actually crying over over, over this thing. A nonsense guy. Sorry, 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 sir. Yeah? Sorry, 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 sir. Oh, yeah, get out. I said, get out! Is wrong. I can't believe I dated this thing. I was actually crying over this guy. Forget I was it. being a fool. Forget that bastard, man. You gave that guy the beating of his life, and you beat him more than I did. Yeah, I guess it was the anger that was venting. I mean, I'm happy I did. I feel very good. Come on, look at me. Oh, that's the idea, you know? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Why what? Why did you do it? Why did I do what exactly? I mean, look at me. I'm an ex-soldier. I could have fought for myself. Well, you had to go and beat him up. Why did you beat him up? Come on. Mm. Being an ex-soldier doesn't mean you're not a woman. You're still a woman. Of course, women should be protected. Especially beautiful ones like you. Oh, really? Yes, really. <laughs> I'm sure you know this fact. You just don't want to accept it. You see, I had to do what I had to do. Mm. Because men like that guy out there are the reason men like we, me, are insulted. Mm. Or have a bad name. <laughs> yeah, so I had to do what I had to do to put him in his place. Mm. Yes. So? So what? Tell me. Tell you what again? Tell me why you did it exactly. Well, I'm sure you know why I did it. I don't know. Then I'll tell you. I did it because I like you. Oh. I mean, I like you so much. That's why I did it. Really? And now you know. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you know, after the good fight, I think I deserve a drink. Don't you think? Then why don't I, a gentleman, mm -hmm. take you out for a drink? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. So you come in and wait for me while I get dressed. All right. Mm -hmm. Right behind you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Do you know, sometimes bad things happen to people just so they will experience good fortune. Hmm. Huh. You can say that again. Imagine it's not even up to how many days? Just a few days. I can't even remember. <laughs> and he's already told you how much he likes you. Mm -hmm. And he has proven that by going after that good for nothing Kelvin. So it's clear that he really likes you. Mm -hmm. Even though I know that my sister likes him hey, too. You don't even know the big one. I'm already in love with him. Mm? Mm -hmm. You what? I love him already. <laughs> I mean, after... Kelvin broke up with me. You know, after I caught him with that girl? The one with the... Uh, hair, whatever. I thought by now that I'll be dead. But look at me. Sitting pretty. It's looking all happy. Someone just swept me off my feet. Omo. Okay. Mm. It's clear that you're happy. I mean, I know that. Mm -hmm. But please, slow down. Mm -mm. You have to slow down. I can't slow down. You have to. <laughs> Listen. I don't want your heart broken again. And for what we know, he is an engineer. You know their job, they are mobile. They're always moving from one city to another. So please be careful. Anyway, let me educate you. Okay. Before he became an engineer, he is first of all a human being. That's Come cool. on. I mean, Jethro is a nice person. He has proved it by fighting that good-for-nothing Kelvin all because of me. Will I know he, he likes me too. Will he still continue fighting? Don't worry. Just let's let's leave that. For I don't us. want you to fall in love. From what I'm seeing now, 
Jethro is a nice person. Okay, and we'll wait. Mm -mm. Oh, we'll wait know. until he tells you how he feels. Anyway, I'm waiting for him to tell me how yes, he feels. Yes, so we wait. <laughs> but until then, mm -hmm. don't fall. I'm falling. No, no, no. I'm I'll happy. be. Yes. Order. Hi. Hi. Hey there, I'm doing it now. Hey there. Hi. 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 Hi.